Hi, this is Rick for EDU Mobile. We're going to talk a little bit about the camera in this demo. Uh, this is a skeleton app that I have for you here, just showing some basic features of the new APIs. For full detail on this, uh, you should look at the projects in the Android libraries, the support libraries, uh, the samples for Android 21 or Lollipop under Media, Camera 2 Basic, and camera to video. These will give you the full detail. They are a bit overwhelming, so I wanted to give you uh, some example of how to get into this and then look at the samples there, the video sample and the basic sample for seeing how to take still shots and to take video and how to set it all up. But this will give you kind of a very high level overview, certainly not a complete application, but things to look at. So what do we have? We have basically a surface view here that we're going to find and we have a button take picture. So in our main activity, and again this is a very very simple implementation that really does nothing but show you how to set things up. I've got uh, a, an array of strings for cameras. These are device IDs that we're going to find. I've got a camera manager and I've also got a camera characteristics object called characteristics. I then have a state callback defined on camera device. You would have other callbacks in a full application, but this is the important one to get into what we're doing here. We will look at this callback here in just a moment. So in on create, after finding my content view and setting it, I want to get a list of camera devices that are available on the device. So the first thing I need to do is cast camera manager or get, cast the system service context camera service as a camera manager and set that as my camera manager object. Then I want to get camera ID list. Now many of these methods with camera manager and camera device and so forth will throw camera access exception mainly and a couple of others. Uh, so we must catch these if they occur. So we want to wrap these in try catch blocks. So we want to try cameras equal camera manager get camera list. So this will give us a list, actually an array of strings called cameras. Then I'm going to log out cameras. There are so many cameras available by getting the length of that array. And then I could iterate through it. I could use for each, but for this, and then I'm going to log out each camera's ID. Now remember, what we're getting here are strings, but they are camera IDs, and that's what they're called in the APIs. And then we're catching camera access exception, and then in this case, we're just printing out the stack trace if that occurs. Now, we could use cameras as the data for a list example, uh, or a list adapter. Uh, we would be, in that case, have some process to select a camera. The user could select a camera from the list. We could select a camera, though, internally by inspecting the camera characteristics for that camera or for each camera. And here's how we might do that. We have characteristics already in the list of private variables for the class. So characteristics in try catch again, camera access exception, uh, characteristics would be equal to camera manager, get camera characteristics for the ID'd camera, let's say at the zeroth position in that array. Now, if we knew the length, we could iterate through and get each one. And then we could look at the characteristics. We can get all the keys by just using get keys, or we can look for a specific key. If we want a forward facing camera, we could look at the lens facing, for example, characteristics, get camera characteristics, and then look at those list of keys on developerandroid.com, and you'll find one called lens facing. So we can uh, pull out the cameras that we want either by allowing the user to select one from a list or by inspecting the characteristics in our code and getting a desired camera. Our button in the activity, uh, it's on click handler method, is take picture. So let's look at that briefly. So here we want to open camera zero. So we're going to try to open camera zero by calling camera manager open camera cameras zero callback and null. Null is the handler. Here I'm just saying do it on the main looper. You probably 
Uh, if you had a long or involved, maybe a video capture session, you would not want to do this on the main looper. But here I'm just going to capture a still, so there we go. And then we're catching camera access exception again. So now, what have we done? We have opened the camera, but now we're going to rely on the callback. So let's look at the camera device state callback, which is the callback that's required in the open camera method. So there are three methods that we must override and do something in. One is on opened, then we have on disconnected, and then we have on error. So let's deal with on error first. On error, camera device, and then an integer error. Uh, we're just going to get the camera ID so that we can log out the camera. So camera get ID will get us the ID, and then the error log would be string format, camera such and such cannot be opened error, and then this is going to be an integer, and then we're going to log that out. So this is a very simple way to handle an error on that. Uh, you would probably throw and then finish the activity or something like that. Uh, okay, on disconnected, remember, is going to be called anytime the camera becomes unavailable, whether the camera is disconnected, whether the camera is connected from another app, anytime that camera becomes unavailable. Again, a very simple application, simplistic application, I would say. Log I, camera, and then string format, camera such and such has been disconnected. And then get the ID of the camera and the, pretty much the same thing. All right, so now what do we do in on opened? Now remember, this is triggered by the button being clicked, and the button is called Take Pictures. So we're going to do the picture taking within on opened. This is a skeleton application. I'm not going to take you through all the steps, but this is enough information to get you started in inspecting the sample code to see how to follow through what they've done from this point to do these things. So we need a capture request builder. Uh, we also are going to need to get a capture session. Camera capture session is the class name for that. So we get a capture session and then we add the request builder or we hand the request builder to the capture session and then call capture on that uh, object. And so that is the kind of skeleton overview of how the new camera APIs work in Android Lollipop. Thank you very much.